today's lecture is the pathologic calcification. Pathologic calcification is actually the abnormal or pathological deposition of calcium salts mainly with smaller amounts of iron, magnesium and other minerals. It is of two types, either it is dystrophic pathologic calcification or metastatic pathologic calcification. So dystrophic pathologic calcification is the deposition of calcium salts in dead or dying tissues. It may occur despite normal serum calcium level and in the absence of calcium metabolic derangements means there is no hormonal calcium problem or derangement in calcium level and the serum blood uh, blood calcium level or serum calcium level that is also of normal range when you check through labs but there is deposition of calcium salts we call it as dystrophic cal metabolic uh, sorry dystrophic calcification which is in dead or dying tissues then number two is the metastatic calcific uh, calcification it is the deposition of calcium salts in normal tissues uh, due to hypercalcemia or due to derangement in calcium and phosphate level. When there is derangement in calcium and phosphate level because of the primary hyperparathyroidism or adenoma of parathyroid gland or malignancy or immobilization that is in bedridden patient there is hyperthyroidism. Uh, so in all these cases there is derangement in calcium and phosphate level and uh, there is hypercalcemia when you check the blood uh, calcium level and because of these there is calcium deposition in normal tissue there is increased mobilization of calcium from the um, uh, bones or there is increased absorption of calcium from the intestine in case of hypervitaminosis D or any uh, other like excessive milk intake so there is increased uh, deposition in normal tissue that is the metastatic calcification in dystrophic it is in dying or dead tissue metastatic is in normal healthy tissue in dystrophic calcification the no there is a normal serum calcium level and there is no calcium metabolic derangement in metastatic there is this occurs in normal tissue due to hypercalcemia due to derangement in calcium and phosphate level examples is the like in case of increased mobilization from the bone due to primary hyperparathyroidism uh, or adenoma of parathyroid gland or secondary hyperparathyroidism due to hyperplasia of parathyroid or malignancy or immobilization or there may be increased absorption of calcium from the intestine due to hypervitaminosis D, excessive milk intake, idiopathic hypercalcemia of infancy or there may be increased renal absorption of calcium due to drug intake like thiazide diuretics, familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia, and the main sites of the metastatic calcification are the kidneys, lungs, stomach, blood vessels, and cornea. So the dystrophic one that is not caused by the hypercalcemia and metastatic one that is because of the hypercalcemia in cases which I have already told you. This is a small topic but important for your exams. Thanks for watching.